Welcome to the Online Entrepreneur Experience podcast that details the ins and outs, the how to's, and the ups and downs of living a life of an online business owner. How's it going today, Johnny boy? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? Oh, not too bad. I see you're down in Vegas, man. You got a fireplace going. What are you freezing? No, no, no. <laughs> It's just a better <laughs> backdrop than uh, just a blank wall. So purely aesthetic, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I enjoy getting on these calls and doing these talks because you guys don't realize like we don't just put this out for you, but it also like after we have a podcast, I think about the topic myself for like a couple days at least, you know, and then we're on to the next one. So it's always, you know, there's always something positive going through your mind, which is great. But I think we wanted to focus today primarily on your self confidence. Believe and believing in yourself and self control, really. Yeah, definitely. And why that actually matters. Because, yeah, let's, you know, if you're not self confident, you're not going to get anywhere in life, right? So, um, another thing I wanted to ask you is uh, self control in life. How does that help you in your business or your life or your personal life? Well, I think, and you know, this is a very interesting topic that can go a lot of ways. Um, I'm going to bring up the pro athlete again, because this is something I was just reading. Everyone's going to know who this is. You know, me as a Vikings fan, you as originally a Minnesota native, I say the name Adrian Peterson. Yeah, Corporal right there. Adrian Peterson, what do you think? Oh, he's amazing. He was best running yeah. back ever. Like, yeah. You would look at the big screen while he was running, so he didn't have to look back. And he yeah. could see who was behind him. I, I thought that was amazing. It's like looking in a rear view mirror, but go on the way of your <laughs> You know what I'm so saying? I was, I was just reading an article about him last night, actually. He's flat broke. He took on a celebrity boxing match because he's broke. And I, I looked into it more because I found it interesting. And it was like Adrian Peterson over his career made $100 million playing football. And they said for him to be broke like he is right now, he would have to spend $25,000 a day every day for 12 years. And I was just thinking, I'm like, how does this happen? Well, that goes right down to your self-control, you know? And as unfortunate as it is, a lot of these people come from disadvantaged backgrounds and then they're instantly at fame, you know, they're instantly there and they don't know how to handle it. If you don't have self-control, you know, it's, when I started my automotive business, a lot of people didn't understand. They thought it was stupid. The first thing I went out and did was buy work shirts. And everyone's like, Jared, why the hell are you doing that? I said, I'm buying work shirts so that when I get up in the morning, I feel like I'm going to work and my business is going to succeed. If I show up there in my pajamas, I don't have the self-control to, to put myself in the mindset of I need to get work done. It's going to fail. Yeah. You know, so it's a lot, a lot of self-confidence has to do with flipping the script in your mind and just kind of turning it on. You know, you have to get yourself in a space where you're going to be productive. And there's things, even our online business, and this by far out of all my income streams, online is the easiest, most passive way that I make money. YouTube, affiliate marketing, all that stuff is the easiest money that I make out of my income streams. And I have my automotive business. I have a martial arts business my online stuff and my YouTube. And I'm telling you right now, that's the easiest way for me to make money. But even with that, you have to be disciplined. Like if you're running an online business and you think you're just going to wake up every day at whatever time you want to wake up and, you know, wear whatever you want to wear, it's just, you have to be in the right space. That's why I have a desk that I sit down to do my edits, to do my marketing, all that stuff. Like you have to have self-control or nothing is ever going to work for you. Treat it like... I don't want to say nine to five, but treat it like it's actually working, putting in the work in yourself and in your business to actually get to where you want to be. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there like a slump on the log going, there's nobody here to tell me what to do. So I'm just going to eat a sandwich and watch Netflix, you know? So Right. Yeah, and it's, it's not that easy, especially. And I think what people, they, they get wrong about like online business is the goal is eventually eventually being the keyword to have a passive income stream. But until you get there, you're putting in the work behind the scenes that people don't see. I mean, there is, I can't tell you, like I'm at a point now where my, my personal YouTube channel makes me money, right? I can't tell you how many hundreds, even thousands of hours I spent 
editing videos for free. Yeah. But that comes down to self-control. I was like, you know what? If I want to make this work and I want to make money with this, I have to sit my ass down and just do it. Like, you know, there's no one pushing me to do it but me. And that's where the self-control becomes so imperative. Is like you said, you could just eat a sandwich and do nothing all day, but that ain't going to work very long. You're not going to have any money. Yeah. And this goes right into my next point that I was going to ask you. Believing in yourself. Well, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to have self-control, correct? Yeah. And that's one of my favorite quotes. I got it stamped in my bedroom on the wall. Like one of those basic white girl live, laugh, love. Yeah. But it says, it says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And yeah. it's absolutely, uh, and it, it's not, it's not necessarily that affirmations are powerful, but people, you know, think, oh, well, this is nonsense because people think about it wrong. They think that you're going to go, I'm going to make a million dollars tomorrow. Well, that's not how it works. But on the flip side of things, I can tell you that if you tell yourself you're never going to make a million dollars, you absolutely never will. But if you tell yourself, hey, I have this goal, like me with monetizing my YouTube channel, I was like, I can do this. I'm going to do this. Did it happen right away? No. You know how long it took me to monetize my YouTube channel? Take a guess. I'd say three years. Four. Four years. Four years. One to year monetize. off. Yeah. But, you know, and that's that's where people get it twisted is they think like, I'm going to do this. And then when it doesn't happen instantly, then they quit. Well, yeah, because you were right. You told yourself that you were going to do it. You didn't give yourself any kind of construct or time or the ladder effect. You know, you don't, the rungs of the ladder are spaced out low so that you can make slow, steady progress. There's a reason ladders aren't built a rung here and a rung 10 feet up at the top. It's just, you'll never get there. So along with being able to believe in yourself, you have to set realist, realistic expectations. And I knew when I started my YouTube channel that I could do it. The problem people have is they don't give themselves the time to get it done. They, they say, I can do this. And then when it doesn't happen in a week, then they give up. No, but I can tell you on the other side of that coin, if you tell yourself, yeah, I can't ever do that. Screw that. I can't do it. Yeah, you're absolutely 100% correct. You can't do it. And that just goes down to your self-belief and what you're worth. I mean, if you if you start and stop and start and stop, every time you stop, remove a piece of the ladder. And it's going to be harder to reach the next time. And if you do that too many times, pretty soon you don't have a ladder. You just have... You better be really good at clowning because you can climb them two kicks <laughs> once with nothing. You know, um, that's also called stilts. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So the next one is cooperation with yourself and your decisions. So how do you cooperate with yourself? I'll say mentally and your decision making and know that you're making the right decisions. I think I think that comes that come straight down to being honest with yourself because you and me were humans you know we aren't god there's only one being in this universe that's perfect and that's god and he doesn't expect us to be perfect but you have to be honest with yourself and if you tell yourself well, like you let's say you make a really dumb irresponsible decision and you had a business meeting in the morning or you were talking to a client or you had to post a video and you were out partying you drained a 12 pack and you, you wake up the next morning, it's 1030 and you're late and you're hungover and your meeting goes horrible or you make an error on your upload and you're like, ah, well, that wasn't my fault. No, you need to be honest with yourself. You made a bad decision. You were stupid, like period. And everyone's going to have this. I'm not saying that even if you listen to our podcast and we're talking like we never make stupid decisions. No, we make stupid decisions. The difference is successful people are honest with themselves. They're like, guess what? I slipped up. Don't let it happen again. And even if it does happen a few times, we recognize it. And it's small variable changes in our life that actually build up to huge things, which is massive. Don't think you're just going to take quantum leaps into the next realm of success. You're not too many people. There's people that win the lottery. Well, they take the quantum leap and all of a sudden they're below what they actually did with the quantum leap because they don't know how to manage the money, for one. 
I'm going to give my uncle $2 million, I'm going to give my mom $30 million, and I'm going to give my dad $50 million, and all of a sudden, Sammy's in the background building the hut. In an <laughs> she is. <laughs> yeah, you guys can. I'll, I'll show you. I'm in my guest room. <laughs> she builds the nest. <laughs> yeah, it, and, you know, that, that goes right back to the athlete. And another one that, you know, is good to remember is Johnny Football. Remember Johnny Football, Manziel? Yep. And he was like the next big thing, right? And all he did was drugs and drink and party and get in trouble. And that guy, if he would have just kept his nose clean, he would have made, he'd be a multi-millionaire right now. I mean, he had raw talent. And I'll, I'll even give a personal example. And nobody cares about my high school sports career, but it's a good example here. So in Minnesota, we have a really good running program. So like track, cross country, it's like, it's like, nationally recognized to the point where one year my high school was interviewed by ESPN. But that, that's, that's beside the point. I was a very, very average varsity athlete, very average. Like I, I made the varsity team, but I wasn't like going to state individually or going to win, you know? And, but I busted my ass every day I went to practice. I busted my freaking ass. And there was this kid that I knew of, when I was in high school and he was like, he had the raw talent to be able to win state individually. I mean, he was like, like I'm talking full ride D one scholarship. Like he was that good. When we were in fifth grade, we had the elementary school track meets. He could run like a five minute and 30 second mile in fifth grade. Like this guy was insane. Guess what? I beat him a handful of times in high school, not because I was more talented, but because I was willing to put in the work and train and get myself into good shape. If he would have worked as hard as I would have, he would have smoked me. Yeah. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And the struggle and adversity that you face along the way to get to your prime performance is going to do much more for you than someone who just makes that quantum leap and gets there and then doesn't know how to deal with it. You nailed it. So, <laughs> yeah. Next one. What is the biggest influence towards your decision? It's got to be your end goal. And, and this, again, goes down to people being honest with themselves. People aren't honest with themselves. People say, I want to make six figures. I want a lake home. I want the brand new truck. And then when they, get on, when they get home from their job, they sit on the couch and eat potato chips and watch Netflix. And it's like, no, you don't. And even if I'm not saying you have to be an entrepreneur. I'm saying that if you want extra money and you're like, I want to buy a new truck, so I need a little bit more money. There are so many options in today's world. Get a second job. You know how many second jobs there are that you can be completely your own boss? I'm not afraid to admit this. You don't be ashamed of where you came from. Like when I first started my automotive business, I would go DoorDash. Yeah. And I'm not lying to you. I like to be productive even today. If I don't have a YouTube video to work on or an online business meeting with you or Mark or anybody else, and I don't have any customers, and maybe it's not a night that I'm running my martial arts gym, I'll still go do it because guess what? I'm making money and I'm my own boss. So there's absolutely no excuse for not getting where you want to be. It just goes right back to being honest with yourself. If you say you want something and you tell yourself, God, I want this more than anything, and you find yourself at seven o'clock at night sitting on the couch on your third beer eating half a bag of chips you really don't want it that bad there's oh. someone out there that wants it more than you because if you really wanted it you'd make damn sure that you're working on getting it that's damn right man jesus you got anything else to add on there no that's oh that's a touchy subject for me because i deal with this all the time and oh. I'll, I'll bring this up and i i don't like to interject my personal life into this stuff too much but my girlfriend, man, she's a perfect example. She just got accepted to nursing school and everyone's dealt a different hand of cards. Everyone. She works full time, has a two-year-old and a six-year-old and is going back to school. And I tell her all the time, like, you amaze me every day. Like the fact that you get all this stuff done and you, and I mean, I'm not saying that she's not exhausted sometimes. I mean, sometimes I go over there and she's like, eh. you know, it's like, but you're doing it. So I look at her. And that's part of the reason I love her so much. But you, I look at her and I'm like, you're the epitome of I don't give a shit what my circumstance is. I'm going to get what I want out of life. There's people that like I, I think of when I get 
in a slump or I'm lazy or I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't have two little humans to take care of. Yeah. Like I think of her and I'm like, you know what? I better get my ass up and get something done because this is bullshit. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> Action or reaction. You don't get up. You're not getting shit done. If you're not doing the actions, you're not going to get the reaction. Your reaction leads to results. And all of a sudden you're in the same place next year. Because January 1st is coming a lot faster than people think. And if you look at your New Year's resolution from last year, how much of that did you get done? And what's your New Year's resolution for this year? Is it the same? Or are you you up in the ante and then you're just not going to take any action again? And all of a sudden, it's going to be 2024. Yeah. And... <laughs> 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 that was great. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? And then it's just going to be like, damn it, I'm in the same spot. I'm the same weight. I'm the, I'm in the same financial crisis I was. Not living in a new place. Not Doesn't have a fireplace. You know, it, it, it's just, it's, you have to get the right mindset is what I'm saying. You want to close us out, man? Because I think we yeah. Crushed. Dude, we've been we've been doing these for over a year. DFM's doing them now. We got Renee and Mark with us, but John and I have been doing this a long time, and you know, over a year. And I think this is one of the best ones we've had. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the new hat or the beautiful face over there, the fireplace, but this is this was a good one. So you know, we really appreciate you guys dropping us comments. You know, ultimately we put these out there to not only help ourselves but also to help you. You know, this is just good things, good information. This is just good information to digest and think about, chew on it, you know, turn this on again while you're working tomorrow or on your way to work when you're drinking your coffee. Like it's all of these things. If you just put them in your brain and you constantly just kind of let it churn a little bit, this isn't the kind of information you listen to once and forget about. Like it might take a few times, but I don't know. I, I appreciate you guys listening. Drop us a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Jared. This is John and we'll be back at you in a week. Don't forget about our giveaway, twenty-five or hundred dollar gift card when we hit twenty five hundred subscribers. So yeah, that's a random guys, comment. Yeah, and I'm gonna start commenting on the videos to get the hundred bucks for myself. So you guys better be commenting. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace out, man. Cheers, man. Thanks for tuning into the online entrepreneur experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.